Breaking news, Swedish forces triumph over Russia and stunning victory for Narva. November 30th, 1700, Narva, Estonia. Earlier today, the young Swedish king, commanded by approximately 1,800 men, launched a surprise attack on the Russian encampment surrounding Narva. The Russian army, numbering approximately 40,000 soldiers, was caught off guard by the bold maneuver. A Swedish relief force of 10,500 men supported the attack, forcing the Russians to capitulate. Taking advantage of the sudden snowstorm that masked their approach, the Swedes advanced swiftly and breached the Russian fortifications. Reports from the battlefield indicate that the Russian lines collapsed under the pressure of the well-disciplined Swedish infantry and cavalry. The Russian forces, led in absence by Duke Charles Eugene de Croix after Tsar Peter and the Great Departure the day before, were thrown into chaos. Lacking effective leadership and adequate training, many Russian soldiers panicked, leading to a disorderly retreat. In the ensuing confusion, a bridge over the Narva River collapsed under the weight of the fleeing troops, exacerbating Russian casualties. The stunning victory not only lifts the siege of Narva, but also marks a significant setback for Russia's military ambitions in the Baltic region. The defeat exposes the vulnerabilities of the Russian army, which, despite its size, was ill-prepared to face the skilled Swedish force. Up next is an exclusive Q&A with military historian Dr. Marcus Burkholz. Stay tuned. Marcus Folkholz, how significant is the victory for Sweden and King Charles the Twelfth? This is an extraordinary achievement for Sweden. Overcoming such overwhelming odds showcases the tactical brilliance of Charles XII and the superiority of the Swedish apparatus. It solidifies Sweden's position as a dominant power and boosts the morale of its allies. What were the key factors that led to the Russian defeat of Narva? The Swedes attacked under the cloak of a massive snowstorm with the interim commander of the Russian forces not expecting the attack. Furthermore, Peter the Great had left the encampment the day before, and the interim commander had never even commanded an army. Wow. How did the departure of the Tsar Peter the Great impact the outcome? Tsar Peter's departure of, on the eve of battle was a significant blow to Russian command and control. His presence may, might have bolstered the troops' morale provided decisive leadership. His absence likely contributed to the disorganization and lack of a coordinated defense among Russian forces, which caused the Russians to surrender, even though he had a much larger force. What does this victory mean for the ongoing North, North, Great Northern War? The battle was a terrible defeat for the Russians. The Russians lost a third of our officers, 30% of our army, and 90 artillery pieces. This victory is massive for the war, war, and Charles XII will be able to refocus on Polish, Lithuania, and Saxony. Can we expect any immediate strategic shifts following this battle? Absolutely. Russia will likely take a seat back, trying to consolidate their forces, and Polish, Lithuania will likely be the next target of uh, Swedes without the support of the Russians. How might this defeat ex affects Tsar Peter's reputation in Russia's future military, military endeavors. While the defeat is undoubtedly a major setback, Tsar Peter is known for his determination and vision for modernizing Russia. This loss may serve as a catalyst for more aggressive reforms of the Russian military, pushing it towards Western standards of training and discipline. In the long run, it could strengthen Russian military capabilities. However, a few more defeats like this, and Russia will have to surrender. How will this victory uh, affect Sweden's population's morale? Very well. The victory will signal that Sweden can win this war, and with Charles XII's successful tax and economic reforms, Sweden will be fully behind Charles. How might your other European powers react to this development? With this crushing defeat, Great Britain will likely have to take a step back and prepare for the un un upcoming war in Spain. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story.